made it real easy like a punchline. But well, fuck it, we gon' get right to these ends. She spent a night with her friends. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Um, Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best shake and impact settings for your Fortnite montages and highlights. These will be completely free in the description below, but you will need Sapphire and BCC plugins, which are also linked in the description below. So overall, this should be really easy. This should be a really easy tutorial. These are the... Uh, I'm, give, I'm basically giving you guys uh, shakes that I use on all of my montages. For, uh, before we get into that, uh, I'm going to be introducing our sponsor today, Filmy. So Filmy is a free to use video editing software on PC and the software is very easy to use for beginners which is its main selling point and it's also really easy to run on your computer so if you have like a bad computer or a laptop or something like that, Filmy is a really great art alternative to DaVinci. And another thing that makes Filmy stand out from its competitors is, is, is its easy to access tutorials that are on its YouTube channels which is linked in the description by the way. Uh, they release new tutorials every week with example like, examples like how to remove watermarks, how to create video slideshows, and a lot more useful things. And if you want to create Fortnite montages on it, I believe it'd be very easy as well. So yeah, if you're a beginner who wants to start editing your montages by yourself, but online tutorials are too complicated, Filmy is a really easy alternative that I recommend. Uh, you could make really nice montages on it, so yeah. Uh, other than that, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? It's me here, now in DaVinci Resolve. I just recorded the intro right before this, so yeah, let's get straight into how to use presets. So first thing you need to do, there are going to be three presets linked in the description, so you're going to go, I'm going to go ahead and drag in three clips that I want to use. So yeah, these three are really nice clips. Uh, I think there's two 200s, and then there's just one that's a really nice double edit. Yeah, I really love this clip. The keyboard sound sounds so nice. But yeah, anyways, let's get straight into it. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag in a song. Um, I don't really know what song I want to use. I think I'm just going to use Punchline by Kevin Powers. This is going to be my song for my next highlights. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Also, you can follow my Twitter if you want more updates on the montages and how they're going. So yeah, let's get straight into it. We're gonna just gonna drag that song in and we're gonna drag it to audio two so that we can have our clips in audio one. So we're gonna go ahead and just drag them in and we're gonna go ahead and find the first beat drop. So yeah, so the first beat drop is pretty clear that it's right here. And the second beat drop is right here. So yeah, these are three really nice beat drops that I just found really quickly. Pretty easy to find beat drops. You don't really have to sync them to beat drops if you don't want to, but yeah, this is how it's going to sync them. So next, I'm going to go ahead and find the shot uh, where I kill him. So I usually sync it to the shot where uh, the red markers on the shotgun appear. So right there. You can see the red marker appear right here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and click on the clip and we're going to press M. So that marks it. Now we're going to go ahead and press Control R and we're going to add in our velocity. You can use whatever velocity you want. I'm going to be showing that, but I'm going to be showing mine. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and add a speed point on the uh, frame you marked. You're going to go left 10 frames, add another speed point, go left 10 frames again, add another speed point. Then you're going to go back to the middle frame You're going to go right 10 frames. You're going to add a speed point and we're going to go right 20 frames and then add another speed point. Uh, by the way, if you guys are wondering how I'm uh, moving so fast on DaVinci Resolve, I have macros binded so that it skips 10 frames whenever I click one of the buttons. So yeah, pretty nice. So next, we're going to go ahead and lock the audio right here so that the uh, audio doesn't mess up and sound warpy or glitchy when we're trying to edit it. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the first segment here to 50%, second segment here to 400%, third segment here to 200%, fourth segment here into 50%. So yeah, these are uh, this is the velocity that I use. Now we're going to go ahead and unlock the track. We're going to drag the uh, beat we're going to drag the beat drop markers onto the middle uh, frame here. So it would be right here. So So Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drag this clip and we're going to sync it to the first beat drop. So yeah, right there, that's pretty nice. And we're just going to go ahead and cut off the song and the clip right here. We're going to go ahead and fade this in. And we're going to go ahead and drag uh, these two clips into the beginning too. So this is how it's going to look. So 
So yeah, that's pretty nice. But now I'm going to go ahead and just put a time lapse of me doing the other two clips. All right, so now that I'm done with the, now that I'm done with retiming and syncing all the clips, this is how it's gonna look. So yeah, that's pretty clean, especially without effects. So yeah. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and drag in our adjustment clip, and we're gonna go ahead and put our marker on top of the adjustment clip and we're going to put the first frame of the adjustment clip and sync it to that marker here so next what we're going to do is you're going to go to the end of the clip and cut it off so it it's pretty short just from the shot until the end of the clip so next what we're going to do is we're going to go into fusion just a precaution uh before you do this you want to go ahead and put your quality to quarter resolution so that it's easier to play back for your computer and yeah let's just go ahead and drag in whatever setting you want to drag in so I'm going to go ahead and drag in the setting called the uh, lens blur shake. So yeah, now it's lagging a little bit. But yeah, there we go. Lens blur shake is right here. And we're just going to go ahead and put this in. So this is how it's going to look. So just play it back a few times and it will play back perfectly fine. So you can see that looks really nice. Uh, you can see that looks really nice and that's the first impact we're gonna do the same exact thing and put it put the first frame of the adjustment clip on top of the marker I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of the clip off by using control B by the way I forgot to mention that we're gonna go ahead and go into fusion on the first frame of the adjustment clip again and we're gonna go ahead and drag in the another shake which is which is called the minimal RGB shake so this shake is obviously as the title implies less like extreme it's just more minimal and yeah, this is how it's gonna look. So yeah, so you can see here that looks pretty nice. And then the third effect, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this exact same thing, add in the adjustment clip in front of the clip. Uh, add in the adjustment clip on top of the uh, marker. And we're gonna go ahead and cut it like where i want the clip to end i'd not cut the clip right here but i'm gonna cut the clip like right here and we're also gonna cut the adjustment clip right here and we're gonna go ahead and delete both of those and yeah now we have the third adjustment clip we're gonna go into fusion and then we're gonna go ahead and drag in the shake so this is what the shake is called the shake is called glitch impact uh it's more of a glitch glitch impact as you can see it has a bunch of different colors on it it looked really nice but it's a really short shake yeah, you can see that is pretty much it for the three shakes right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and play it all back. So you can see that it's lagging a little bit. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, just go ahead and drop a sub, go ahead and follow my Twitter, and go ahead and check Fill Me Out, our sponsor. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace out.